Okay, Nimbus team, we've got one more, and it is our pick list. So I made a video on this the other day, and uh, it was that we needed two pick lists, remember? One here, one here, and then it would say one would be green picked, and the other one for would be red picked, or blue picked, or orange picked, or whatever. The other one would just be a different color, and it would be picked, because we've got forklift drivers picking at the same time, and they kind of get confused when it actually is fully picked. So that's not gonna change. Nothing about that's gonna change, but we were in the meeting and what we want to add to improve this is this pick list right here can be, it's a little it's a little clunky for our guys. Yeah, we've gotta find out what item number it is. Um, to me, it just, it isn't as good as a list like this. So we want a list similar to this, right? So this is obviously all the forklift pick confirmations, great, um, whatever, but we're looking actually to get, maybe get rid of this, actually not maybe, get rid of this, and have one giant one where it just says job number, type, this would be nice if this could say cutter number one, sheeter number one, sheeter number two, exactly what the machine is. Um, Status would either be, obviously it's in setup mode or it's gonna be complete, right, or picked. And the customer name, we don't need the customer PO, we don't need the order item as well. Just really, we just need these three fields plus two. So we would need, I guess this one would have to say forklift number one status, if it was set up, and this one would have to say forklift number two. Well, let me get rid of one. I, because we're not, we're getting rid of customer POS from using it, for example. So this one would say forklift number one status, forklift number two status. So when the first forklift guy got it and he updated his to picked, um, the second forklift driver, when he got it, on this screen, forklift driver number one would say picked. Forklift driver number two would be like, all right, yeah, it's already picked, it's just waiting for me. He would go in here, he would click that, and this screen would look just like the screen you guys already have. It would be exact same, again, it's the exact same screens. We're not shifting the screens at all. Everything stays the same. So he, forklift driver number two can verify, oh yeah, he grabbed this, but my stuff's up here that I've got to grab. Or in this example, actually, forklift number two grabs only this. But what we're saying is two different pick list would be, uh, would, would where this style of a, of a list would be really, really nice for these these forklift drivers would make it really easy. They could stay on task very, very easily, and they're just pretty much living only in this page. Okay, so we've got job number, machine type. It'd be nice again if it was cutter number one or whatever it was. You've got forklift driver number one. You'd either say setup or complete, and you've got forklift number two, setup or complete. Um, customer name actually should go right. No, customer name over here is fine. That's fine. Then no order item, no customer PO either. And then actually, to be honest, if you have it complete already, really, why do you need this page? You, you, this is only the confirmations, but if you have it here, you're, you're just as good, right? I mean, if, if we want, we could add pick by um, or forklift number one, pick by, and you could put the name. The next one could say forklift number two, pick by, the name, the date picked. You can keep all this, but we kind of we combine these lists, both of these lists, into one. So there's no break in it. So this, for example, this would start all the way to the left, and it would read. I'm going to go left to right here. Job number, cutter, forklift driver number one, set up or, or picked or complete. Um, forklift driver number two, set up or complete or picked or whatever is a good format. Um, customer name, then this date picked would obviously be empty if it wasn't picked, but this 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 would go, say over here, right after the other one, and this one would say, um, by forklift number one, by forklift number two, and then it would say the names. So we really need this, this would be a huge, huge improvement for our guys, there would be no confusion, it would be a... I mean, technically, they would just live in this screen. This is all they would live in, 
it wouldn't do anything besides this screen and obviously if we had the numbers like one of the previous videos said of one two and three these guys' lives become oh man they, it becomes significantly easier um, than being in this screen obviously the training would be significantly better too because it's it's one thing you just live in this screen and you just look at two statuses right if it's complete you're great if it's not go charge it and try to get it again they click it and this page shows up well not this it would be obviously whatever that I just had it for example it would be this page would show up automatically already it would already know the job because you clicked it from that screen so this page would automatically come up and it would it would grab it and submit it so anyways thank you